I think a lot of us Pixel users were sitting around the last few days wondering where the new Pixel feature drop was. The quarterly platform release number two for Android 16 is due any time. And today we do have a new Pixel feature drop, but it's not exactly what we were all expecting. Rather than getting the quarterly platform release number two features, we're getting something else. And there are some cool features here. This is a blog post on the official blog.google.com. We're going to go over what's new in this feature drop. Now, like with all these feature drops, I'm going to get comments from people saying, I don't have these features. Give it time. Some of them are going to show up quickly. Some of them are going to show up over the next few days or even weeks. This is just how pixel feature drops work. So for the first new feature, remix any photo right in your messages. Google is putting what they're calling nano banana for some reason, absolutely everywhere. What this is, is the ability to take a photo and then tell it what you want to be different in that photo. And it's going to do that. But you're going to be able to do that exact thing now within Google messages. So someone sends you a picture, you can grab that picture, you can change it, modify it, and then send it back to them. And then they can modify it and send it back to you. All kinds of crazy things possible. As it says here, starting today, you can edit and reimagine any photo using Remix in Google Messages. And everyone, no matter what phone they use, can see your remixed photos. Number two, add a touch of magic with Wicked for good theme packs. We talked about this in an earlier video, some leaks about this uh, feature drop, and that is part of this that is here. So I jumped into the Google Play Store and I looked for updates and it grabbed this theme pack application. I'm here in the wallpaper and style section and you can see try Wicked for good theme pack. And then there's a new little theme pack section that has been enabled as well. We're going to click on that. We're going to change to my actual email. And there we go. Here are our theme packs for good Glenda and Elfaba. Elfaba. Correct me if I'm wrong, I almost certainly am. So we're just going to pick for good, and we're going to click on download. It's going to download this theme pack, and we can apply it now. We're going to get a look at exactly what this is going to look like on my setup. Actually, I guess I just went ahead and applied it. So there you go. There is this theme pack installed on my device. Really what this comes down to is a wallpaper, which is going to be giving certain colors, a certain selection of colors to match the wallpaper. This is a cool one. Find details easier with AI powered notification summaries. Your pixel can now provide summaries of your longer conversations. Lengthy texts across chat apps are easily recapped in your notification shade. Ideal for quickly catching up on busy group texts and longer chat threads. So you can quickly see what is important and stay focused. Now, if you click on this number three, it pops up at the bottom, only available for Pixel 9 and above, and it says excluding Pixel 9. I wonder if they mean the base Pixel 9. Do they mean the 9a? It's weird to say for the 9 and above, excluding the Pixel 9. Do they just mean the 9 Pro? 9 Pro XL and forward? Could be. And then in December, your Pixel will further help reduce notification overwhelm by organizing and silencing lower priority notifications, saving you from unnecessary interruptions. Get alerts about likely scams in chat messages. So Pixel 6 and newer devices are going to be able to warn you about scams. Basically, if it sees you're getting a message that looks like a scam, it's going to pop up and say, hey, this is this is probably a scam. You should not do what they're asking you to do. Prioritize the VIPs in your life with upgraded tools. They say they're upgrading the VIP treatment for your closest friends and family on your Pixel device. Message notifications from your VIPs now get prioritized, keeping you in close contact throughout the day and ensuring you don't miss a message. Again here, the number four indicates that this is available for the Pixel 6 and above. Now, this is something that we kind of already have, but they've definitely enhanced it. Remove sunglasses, fix a smile, and more with personalized edits in Google Photos. So the scenario that they give is saying, help me edit, and then asking photos to remove Riley's sunglasses so it knows who you're talking about. Open my eyes, it knows who you are. Make uh, angle, ang I don't know how you would say that name, smile and open her eyes. I don't know how to say any names, apparently, from... <laughs> from this video photos will fix the image by using other pictures in your gallery that you've labeled and organized in your face groups to ensure a personalized natural look that is absolutely crazy and i've used something you know i've talked about something like this in the past 
in a Pixel 10 Pro Fold video doing this exact thing at the zoo, removing a fence from a photo that I took of an animal. This is a very, very cool feature, and it is now rolling out, and it's actually rolling out, as far as I'm aware, to pretty much everybody. I think I even saw iPhone users are going to be able to do this. Save battery with power saving mode in Google Maps. So they're basically giving you a power saving mode for Google Maps specifically. Kind of takes it into this grayscale look. That's pretty cool if you do use Google Maps a lot. As you can see here, it says you actually press the power button and you will see a simplified layout. So it's almost like Google Maps as you're always on display. Access Pixel's fan favorite features in more regions. This is really, really important. I think a lot of us that are in the U.S. forget a lot of people outside the U.S. don't have some of these features. Scam detection is coming to users in the U.K., Ireland, India, Australia, and Canada. Call notes is rolling out to Australia, Canada, the U.K., Ireland, and Japan. Call notes use Gemini Nano on device to record your calls, take notes, and generate transcripts and summaries. And last but not least, Magic Q now delivers more timely suggestions powered by our new privacy technology, private AI compute in the cloud. So this is kind of a weird one for me. Google's been pushing to do more and more of this AI stuff on device, and that was kind of the thing about Magic Q was it's going to be on device. But now they're using this private AI compute, which is in the cloud, but something about it is supposed to be more private. And they've actually got an accompanying blog post about this. They say they're introducing private AI compute to bring you intelligent AI experiences with the power of Gemini models in the cloud while keeping your data private to you. I'll put a link to this blog post down below so that you can see that. But the idea is it's going to be powering Magic Q and hopefully making this a more robust feature that's going to work a little bit better. For me, in my use, it's been pretty much useless. All in all, I think that this does look fairly solid considering that QPR2 is going to be coming relatively soon. And that's going to have a whole bunch of other features that I'm actually like much more excited about. I actually posted something on threads the other day. Let me see if I can pull this up here quickly where I talked about how I was excited for QPR2 because we're going to be getting forced theming of icons, which you can see in the image that I attach. We're going to get icon shapes, the, abil the ability to turn off the HDR flashbang. You're scrolling through social media and there's an HDR image and it's like way brighter than everything else. I hate that. 90-10 split coming to older devices. Pixel Studio animations. Prioritize VIP notifications actually did make it into this, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that is still coming and should be coming very, very soon. But nonetheless, I do think that several of these do sound quite nice. The notification summaries thing does intrigue me. Hopefully, Google's implementation of this uh, comes across better than Apple's because there was a lot of uh, problems there with, with this notification summary thing on the iPhone where it was summarizing things incorrectly. So hopefully they get things a bit closer on their Pixel phones than Apple did on their iPhones. I think the remixing images in Google Messages does seem quite cool as well. You guys already know that I love Help Me Edit inside Google Photos. It's fantastic. So cool stuff and a lot more cool stuff coming, guys. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on when QPR2 does actually roll out, which could happen just about at any time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.